Hello guys, see internet they hot too. Everywhere they hot now, like everywhere just they hot. Very dark man don't come out too. We don't respond to uh, fast lawyers. But before I go play that video, I want me to watch the beginning of the whole thing. Watch this video first, make you see. Rest, all right, in respect to Bob Risky, what I'm about to post now, um, a lot of names will be mentioned. Um, these are people that I also respect, and I believe a lot of Nigerians respect them as well. I am very, very disappointed in the agencies that are involved in this. And um, I believe that this call recording that I'm about to play, even Bob Risky would not expect it. <laughs> that is what is crazy. But all the people that will be mentioned, I don't care. You understand? I don't care. And from today, no longer respect for all of you. You understand? Because all of them are the same. And it's pretty obvious that in Nigeria, the law only work against the poor people. You understand? Now, after this video, I would expect that the EFCC would do a deep investigation on everybody that is involved in this case. And also, they will bring the whole officers that participated in this and collected and spent this money that is involved. Thank you very much. So I will start by playing um, the call. As you can see, it is a call. Listen. You know, I'm a very big influencer. I have over 5 million followers on my Instagram. So, my Facebook. And they're paying me uh, on my Facebook every month. So, I'm okay. So, they were like, yeah, all those money cannot still make me buy house of 450 million and pay knock. And we are staying in a Chevron. Blah 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 blah. The shop put the money laundry share. They charged me to court. So when they charged me to court, we had to beg them that okay, if they want to remove the money laundry, how much would they collect? They said we should go and bring fifteen million uh, that they will remove the money laundry. Now this is one part of the video. A lot of things will be unveiled. First things first, you heard it from Bobriski. Um, EFCC charged them, charged him 15 million naira to remove the money laundry charge that was charged against him. If you remember when this case against Bobriski starts, there was a money laundry charge, but from nowhere they removed, they dropped the money laundry charge. So obviously, Bobriski paid EFCC 15 million naira to remove the money laundry charge. It's crazy that EFCC claim that they are fighting against financial crime. Do you understand? But they are deeply involved in financial crime. So they remove the money laundry. Anyways, let's continue. There's a lot of things in this um, call recording. I to my friend. I called my friend, you know, because I can't use my account. I wanted to send money from my account, but he said, I'm still under investigation. I cannot withdraw from my account. So I now called a few of my friends. You know, Polanco, LLA. Mm hmm. That Polanco, yeah, is my very good friend. So I called him. I told him. He was like, ah, no, I can't want to send the whole I can't want to send the whole He now gave me, I gave him my brother's account. He now sent eight million. Me, he can only send the same year. Yeah. I was even shocked that he can send that kind of amount of money. He said, ah, I'm a very nice person. So, I called the Mola, the Mola in New York, he knows my friend too. Mm -hmm. The Mola sent to one million naira because I had to call the people I'm close to, people I trust. That's right. The Mola sent me one million, yeah, the Mola sent me one million naira immediately. Transferred one million naira to my account. Then I called other few people because I can't start making call because I, I don't know who set me up. So let me not start calling the, the wrong people. No, okay, Do you sure. understand? Sure. Uh, so I called the people I trust. So the, sh the money share complete with children that I paid. Then I removed money laundry. Then I took me to court for spraying of money. Okay. And I know that. The so you heard him. After I paid the money to ESCC, ESCC removed money laundry and then I removed that charge and took him for spraying money. Do you understand? So ESCC, you people collect money to drop charges. This is crazy. And these are the people that want to fight for financial crime. Tomorrow night, you're going to tell us you want to arrest Ayabelu. I wish sure that if you arrest him, you will not collect money for dropping charges. Wow, EFCC. This is crazy. But anyways, it doesn't end here. Let's continue. The old things, the old things started from, the old things started from when they gave me best female dress. You saw that video, I mean, that they gave me best female dress. 
yes, that's yes, when the yes, old things did. yes yeah that's when the old things started from you know jealousy everything mm, envy. so mm. we, shall, we shall have got to court i shall have told them that i'm guilty that ah, maybe because we will pity me or say oh yeah pay fine i know or, or community service sadly the court sentenced me so you know i was on my way to the prison then my godfather called me and said you will not enter that prison don't worry let me make arrangements for an apartment close to the prison that is going to call the um you're going to call the controller in my that's overall in nigeria and abuja and i'm talk to them the shall talk or fire come back shall. then i took me to one apartment that i must not come out till i finish my sentence that they go mm, that okay the other said she should come out the other said she should come and keep me here that i mustn't um i mustn't go like enter data but nobody should know that i'm not there yes you know so they said the guy will call him money do you want to give them seven wait 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 who is this bob risky's godfather that called the controller general of prison in abuja and instructed him that he should not let bobriski to enter prison and the controller general of prison now gave bobriski an apartment outside the prison do you understand an apartment outside the prison that he should act he should stay there and he will not enter the prison so bobriski didn't go to prison obviously basically the prison obviously is for the poor men and for the poor masses so this is how the efcc come and lie to us say they don't prove somebody they don't arrest one big man for financial crime but they will not go arrest the man they don't go sentence him or carry him go give him one law somewhere and he no go enter prison this is what is going to, going on in nigeria do you understand the law is only against the common and the poor man now the poor man they go prison but bob risky one godfather somewhere that godfather he will come out and the controller of prisons the controller general of prisons you have to come out and defend this if not me i will continue rubbishing your name online the controller general of prisons so this is how they call you to remove prisoners eh? after the court and sentence the prisoner you will remove them but that's not all let's continue like millionaire i had to call elena because there's nobody for me to call elena gave me uh give me one uh, two million the balance of two million so now the so i'm supposed to come out in um i'm supposed to come out in what's it called ending of july next month okay 29th but guys okay. his father is a in a son so first reach out to me his father spoke to me his father said we can apply for pardon okay that pardon the president because you know it's Faust the bad guy i can't even believe this Faust the bad guy contacted bob risky and femi falano he contacted his father and his father femi falano spoke to bob risky in order to divert justice and this same Faust, if this story is true this same files we have the audacity to come out and say it's fighting against the government for oppression that he wants justice he want nigeria to be better so that like this, you didn't carry yourself. I don't want to believe that Femi Falano will bring himself down to this level. A whole Femi Falano will be fellow lawyer, where we respect. Femi Falano will engage himself in something like this. Wait, wait, wait. what is the relationship between Fals and Bobriski? I mean, Fals said they do. Oh, okay. Who are we to crucify the homosexual? Most of them are done, they evolve from time. Everybody is a motherfucking hypocrite, though. No, oh, now that song, they make sense to me. Wait, I be found self they do? This is crazy. Well, anyways, let, let's continue. Hey, now, wow. Nigeria. It's mm -hmm. Fedra that, uh, my, my, my kiss is Fedra. That's so that the Fedra can actually pardon me, that's the president that he can do it that if they, if they pardon me i can even leave here by next week do you understand i don't have to wait till like uh ending up next month okay. okay so the man started the pardon he said he wants to send it to 
the uh, minister, minister of justice in Abuja. So Minister of Justice will now send it to President to approve it. But you know Nigeria now, Nigeria with the corruption and everything, you take it fast to him. That the man did not, they said they will collect 10 million naira for him to get. That that pardon will clear my name off the record. Of the record, which is not yes. bad. That which exactly. So, you know, there's nobody to call because, like, I have friends, so, but you know, you don't know who set you up, you know, and they've not opened my account. All right, so based on this first voice notes, based on Bobriski's narration, in this uh, phone call, Bobriski is saying that Femi Falano collected 10 million Naira in order to wipe his name off the record. Wow! These are people I respected. These are people I look up to. Faust the bad guy, always talking about, yeah, I'm speaking up for the people. So you are also involved in things like this. It's really, really disappointing. It's obvious that Nigeria might not go anywhere anytime soon. It's obvious. See, Nigeria, I have lost 100% respect. Respect for this. Unless if they come and come defend this one, sin and lie. But for now, uh, we'll take what Bobriski is saying as the truth. Because Bobriski said all these things, like he contacted uh, somebody to borrow him money, and the person recorded everything. Now, uh, just in case uh, Bobriski go on argue, let me drop your number. Uh, this is your number, eh? Now, why are... So this is your number. Your number ends with uh, 2208. That's where your number ends with. So this is you. Actually, you cannot deny anything. So EFCC, I will expect you people to bring, to do a deep investigation and bring all the people involved to the doormat of justice. If you know you truly fight against financial crime. And this particular crime went deep down inside your own custody. And it's really crazy. And the controller general of prison, I don't know. I don't know what it happened, but it's almost as if, yes. I want to know the godfather and why the controller of prison allowed them, instead of putting Bobriski in a correctional facility, they took him and gave him a lodge outside the prison. I don't know that it's allowed. I didn't know that was allowed. But anyways, there are more videos to come. Do you understand? This is just part one. First. Part one. We'll see where part two they be. Don't play. <laughs> you gotta learn. And you will learn the hard way. I don't care. Don't play. Welcome back from that amazing ride. Uh, from that Apoku ride. From that uh, Amigo ride. <laughs> I know you enjoyed yourself listening to that guy. See, like I said earlier, I don't know how true this is. But it wasn't sounding like Bobriski's voice. We all know his, is it his or her voice. I don't know which of the the, the actual pronouns to use here. But we all know that they sounded like the voice. I understand that AI is actually in existence. The AI can actually turn someone's voice. A lot of things can be forged, fabricated, and all that. I know. So that's why I'm, I'm not certain. Yeah, that's why I said I don't know how true this is. I said I don't know how true this is because Bobriski herself or himself made a posted something on her IG story. Ah, I'm confused. Her, him. Please, for the sake of this video, let's keep using her because she identifies as a her. So who, why should I be the one changing everything? So she made a post on her IG story saying the whole thing that Very Dark Man said all lies. Let me leave you to this post. Okay, she wrote. My attention has been drawn to a fake voice recording circulating on the internet that I paid EFCC 15 million naira and that I was never in prison. I didn't pay any EFCC money. It's a very big lie. I served my term in full and I came out, discard any false information. She also said, imagine believing someone that came out publicly to tell us that you paid a hacker to track someone's phone, which is against the law. How desperate. Hmm. Oh, wow, plenty things they yell. Okay, she also posted on her story, 2 Thessalonians 3 verse 3. But the Lord is faithful. He will establish you and guard you against the evil one. Psalm 46 verse 1. God is our refugee and strength. A very present help in trouble. Hmm. This one, a Bible era. Like the matters of the earth, they go, they go, they go. So guys, this is not the end of it though. 
Yeah, so following the ongoing drama, the EFCC released a press statement. In fact, this is what, what I'm seeing here. It says, the executive chairman of the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, Mr. Ola Olukayode, has ordered immediate investigation of alleged bribery allegation imputed to some officers of the commission by Idris Okuneye, popularly known as Babriski, in a viral video circulating across the country. Okuneye, an ex-convict, had alleged in the video powered by Martin Vincent, aka Very Dark Man, that some unnamed officers of the EFCC collected a sum of 15 million naira. Hmm, um, this matter, this matter loud though. Guys, just read the remaining ones. So, um, moving on. They also wrote, the EFCC wishes to assure the public that the allegation would be thoroughly investigated and the result of the findings made public accordingly. Hmm. And the remaining distance signed by the board. And so, as if that's not the end of everything, after this whole thing, Faz, the bad guy, and his team, they released a, should I say, they released a press statement, a written uh, statement, and a warning to Very Dark Man to withdraw from the defamatory statements he made within the next 24 hours or he faces their law and the rest of that or more this matter they all through so first leg at him they wrote and they wrote to very dark man they said demand for withdrawal and retraction of defamatory statement against mr Fallarin Fallan Fallano aka Faz we are counsel to mr Fallarin Faz here in after referred to as our client we write you this letter on his behalf regarding your publication and dissemination of defamatory statement against him a publication of uh, of september 25th 2024 on your instagram page captioned in everything and everyone that is mentioned here i will be disappointed if truly Faz and his father are involved in this whole barbiski issue hmm. okay has been drawn to omo guys the way they write this thing i beg my head my head it choke country don't hard <laughs> so moving on yeah, so the ending part of the uh, statement says, Be advised that if we do not receive your formal retraction and apology as demanded within 24 hours of the receipts hereof, we shall proceed with our client instructions to seek appropriate legal remedies, including monetary damages against you, secondary publications and dissemination of defamatory statements. We oh my matter just the long they go, I swear AJ. Anyways, very dark man has also come out to say that he never made any defamatory statement to Mr. Fals uh, Fals father. So let me leave you to watch this video he just made recently. Alright, so um, first of all, I did not defame Uncle Femi Falano and I will never ever ever defame Uncle Femi Falano. Uncle Femi Falano, SAN, is somebody that I respect 100%. Not because of his position as an as a SAN, but because of what he has used the position to do, representing the likes of me. The likes of me that speak against the ills of the society, abuse of power, abuse of influence and also the bad dealings of the government. Uncle Falano have represented the likes of me and a lot of other activists. I am not an activist, however, but he has represented a lot of people that I personally know. Now, one other person that I represent that made me love him more is Fela Nikola Pokuti. Fela Nikola Pokuti is a role model to me and I saw the way he spoke fearlessly and I emulated everything and I said if I'll be on this earth I will say it the way I feel it and I will say it straight up. So imagine Uncle Femi Falano defending somebody like Fela. That means I extended the love to Uncle Femi Falano. Imagine somebody like Fela, Jesus Christ. I mean Fela came and said Muhammad Dubari is an animal and Muhammad Dubari was, an, was the head of state. And Uncle Fefe Falano was his lawyer. How then would I defame him? I only reacted to the call Bobriski made, which he put allegations that he, he Bobriski, was the one that alleged that Uncle Femi Falano and Faust connected Uncle Femi Falano and blah, 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 and 10 million naira. Do you understand? And what I said is, I choose not to believe that Uncle Femi Falano will be associated with that. And if I will be disappointed, I will be disappointed because of his position in society and because I know what he represents. Now, I had an option of cutting that video at the part where he mentioned files. 
Do you understand? But I refuse to because I want an investigation on the matter. I want a thorough investigation on the matter. Now, let me even tell you guys what is funny. I have another one to post, which I will post tomorrow, that is from a totally different person again. Do you understand? I want a deep investigation on this issue. The ESCC was named, the Controller General of Prison was named, and then Uncle Femi Falano and Faust the bad guy. Do you understand? A deep investigation will clear everything. And if Bob Brisky is lying, he should face the law for using somebody as big as Uncle Femi Falano to do something like that. Now, again, imagine if that video did not come to me and somebody, an anonymous, just posted it online. That video would have just spread and people would have believed. I even, I'm even 100% happy that what is happening now is happening now. Do you understand? So the thing will just break. The whole table will break and what happened will come out. So Uncle Femi Falano, I or Sir Martin Vincent will never, ever, ever defame you. I will never. I will never ever defame you and I did not defame you. Thank you very much. I still love you. You are my daddy. Yes, you are my daddy. I love you 100%. Thank you very much. And what is even crazy is that on the top of my head, Uncle Femi Falano is an emergency contact. How did I even forget this? Yes, it's an emergency contact because to be very honest, yeah, the talk who, ah, and to be honest, if person bad, even if the person get position at the talk. So I don't really don't talk and before say the day where we say one kind big person will get influence will come home me. Now Uncle Femi Falano go represent me. So why would I defame Uncle Femi Falano? Please go back to my video, people. Thank you very much. I love and respect you, Uncle Femi Falano. Thank you very much. Peace. All right. Um so in respect to what files the bad guy posted, a letter that says I should retract my statement and I should apologize um for defaming him. Um first of all, before Files posted that, Sean Kuti called me and he said, I'm very loud, man. I just finished speaking with Files the bad guy. I want you to call him. I'll send you his number. I want you to call him so that you guys can talk. You know, and I said, Egbo, I don't want to talk to Files. Then he said, um, no. You need to hear what he wants to say, you know? And then um, I sent files a message, we got on a call. And then when we got on a call, then he said he wasn't happy. Then I said, how far? Then he started talking, you know, I said, ah. he said he was started talking about defamation, that he wasn't happy. Then I said, files, I thought you're calling me to tell me your own side of the story so that I will know what's up, you know? But um, I don't understand what's going on now. So at a point in the conversation, I felt like Faust was recording me, you know? And then I said, Faust, I feel like you're recording me. I feel like you're trying to get evidence for me or trying to make me say something so that you can hold me by my wrist, you know? And then when I said it, he could not defend that, you know? Then he went on saying things like, um, since you know me on social media or my family, have you ever heard anything negative about myself or my father? I said, I have never heard anything negative about your father, Femi Falano. However, you yourself have heard something negative about you. Then he said, what have you heard about me? Then I said, uh, my bro, it is for my own consumption and not for me to tell you. You know, so it was almost as if he was trying to pick my brain to know what I know and the length of things that I know. Well, anyways, that's by the way. Then um, the whole conversation ended up with me telling Faust that, thank God you are a lawyer, so you will not need to pay a lawyer to stand for you in court. But as for me, I did not defame you, and I'm standing that I did not defame you. So I will see you in court. That's number one. Number two, I did not read what Faust posted until later. And then when I read what Faust posted, I said, wait a minute. But Risky is saying that the voice call was fake. And now Faust is confirming that Bob Risky, they actually had a call. Do you understand? The only difference is that he's saying that Bobrisky was the one that called him. Why Bobrisky is saying that his Faust that called him? Faust is saying Bobrisky has seen for three million. Bobrisky is saying that Faust said he should pay a lawyer with his father ten million naira. Do you understand? Now, what I expect Faust to do, instead of addressing that letter to me, I expected you to address that letter to Bob Risky, requesting that he should clear your name off that voice call, and he should clear um, uh, Uncle Falano's name off that call, not you coming for me. Do you understand? I wasn't the one in the record. Do you understand? My reason for posting that is to expose corruption. 
The corruption that states that Bobrisky used his mouth to say that instead of taking him to prison, that they took him to a private lodge. That EFCC collected 15 million naira from him to drop an allegation and to drop a charges that said he laundered money. Do you understand? And inside all this thing is calling your name and you are sending a letter to me. I would expect you to send that letter to Bobrisky. Do you understand? To be very honest, I did not defame Faust and Uncle Femi Falano. Now, that's on the side. Now, as it stands like this, I am standing my ground to say, I still want to know what went down. Because going back to everything now, I saw there's a picture of Bobisky online where he carried luggage. You didn't go prison, you carry luggage. Secondly, who gave Bobisky a phone to make call inside prison? Because they don't lock me up before. They remind me for PJ prison now. I know say if you won't make call to your family, you go take you a process of telling one of the prison warden to say you won't make call or bring you outside, they'll give you a phone. If you remember the number, fine and good. If you don't remember the number, turn you sabi. Then you cannot call the person you want to call. So how did Bob Risky get a phone to call files and he's requesting that files will give him three million? Again, another question is this which officer charged Bob Risky three million for VIP cell? We need to know. Do you understand? We need to know which officer charged Bob Risky three million. Because when they get all these amounts for, say they say they will give us, they will collect ten million, may they claim name from the crime where he commits by a presidential pardon. You understand? So, my dear brother Faust, um, I did not defame you, and, and I will expect you to channel this energy to Bob Risky that called your name in that recording. And as for Bob Risky, um, like I said, I will post another recording from a totally different person entirely. Mind you, the first video I posted, I did not even post it complete. The other side of the video. But I will post another one again today. I will post another one again today. Uh, yeah. I will post another one again today, confirming that this guy, man, threw through no go prison. So is it that prison is for us where we don't get people? It's prison for us, the poor masses. Mm -hmm. It's prison for us, the people that don't have connection. Who, who is this Bob Risky's godfather that also influence the clearing of his, uh, the clearing of his charges, his money laundry charges? So that is my question. Do you understand? It's pretty simple. I want to know what really happened, and I believe a lot of Nigerians want to know. That being said, some Nigerians, I see comments like, is Bob Risky the problem of the country? No, Bob Risky is not the problem of the country. However, the stories and the corruption surrounding Bob Risky is part of the problem of Nigeria. Do you understand? Now, just imagine. Imagine if it was a whistleblower that said the thing about the money laundry. You understand? And tomorrow now, you can't release the person or you go put them for one lodge. That person where you put for lodge now can orchestrate, can plan the buying of the person where do we to blow in. Do you understand? They cannot investigate the person that is inside prison again now. They could say, ah, this one, they prison. That means another person do They don't know, say the person they outside. This thing is very deep, but you all don't understand. It's not about Bob Risky, it's about the corruption. Tomorrow now you go carry a habelo. Do you understand? So what if your habelo pays and drop his charges and we think he's in prison? So how do you imprison politicians when they do wrong if the normal average people are paying to remove charges and are paying to stay in an apartment instead of a prison? Nigerians will not get to that brain. Anyways, you all better don't play, else you are going to learn. And you all learn the hard way. Peace. If this EFCC investigating EFCC, then this whole thing is crazy. EFCC investigating EFCC. Okay, so we are back from that. And now my uh, uh, one one of the things that is actually becoming a major concern to me is in as much as i am not a lego person i don't know if it's right to uh, sort out the bail or pardon all those things split for all those things and all that pay all the money to uh, wipe histories and uh, allegations i don't know about that i'm not going to talk about it but what i want to say is that who was the other person on, uh, at the other end of the call that Bob Risky was? If that was really Bob Risky's voice, please, if truly that was a conversation from her, who was the other person at the end? Because I want to believe that the Bob Risky trusted this person before saying all those things. That if actually she was the one on that voice record, that call. This 
person must be someone she trusted so much. Guys, are you thinking what I'm thinking right now? If truly that was that was her voice or her phone call, then one of the prayers we should pray in this life is is it for enemies they call it? Whatever, but may God remove people that pretend as friends from our life. Like may God chase them away far, far, far from us. Because I don't understand how she could trust someone to that extent of revealing those things. And the person was the same person that had to bring her to the public by leaking the conversation, by recording it and sending it to a very dark man. Guys, this is ridiculous. I'm not trying to say that whatever happened or is a good thing. I'm not even here to judge his lifestyle or her lifestyle. That is not my business. That is not my point here. I just picked out two things from that. Like, how can I trust someone to that extent of revealing those things? And the person goes ahead to leak it to my enemy. Guys, this is so wrong. This is so bad. Hmm. The God shade us from 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 friends who appear as is it, what do they call it wolves in sheep's clo clothing <sighs> this is bad and that aside let's talk about the other side very dark man well i want to assume that uh, you got this clip from whoever sent it to you you didn't even confirm the other things that you said on this clip from the other parties involved okay now faz has gone ahead to to release a statement through his legal team asking very dark man to apologize or make another video publication or whatever in regards to the earlier things that he said in that video or else within the next 24 hours or else he'll be faced with charges and the other things now this whole thing is crazy it's all messed up one thing i want to say before i end this video bob risky if to read bob risky's that was bob risky's conversation the only thing I can say is that keeping your mouth shut, zipping your mouth face is not everything you have to bring to social media. It's not everything you have to tell people. Okay, she didn't bring it to social media actually. She told someone that she trusted. But then I feel like it's not everything you should tell everyone. There are some things that should be a secret to you. That will secret to your grave. Well, I don't know. Like I said, I don't, I'm not sure. I don't know if that's if his her voice. I don't know. I don't even care anymore. But guys, whatever it is, whether it's real or not, let this be an example. Take this as a life lesson. Don't spill out everything to everybody. Because some people that you trust, they might be the ones to to betray you. That's why I, I really have friends. I don't have enough. I don't have much friends. I, I, I keep a very little small circle. And guys, I keep very small circle. And I am unapologetic about it. Sometimes I take my time to observe. Well, we never can tell because you, you, you can't even trust your own self 100%. That's one side. Zip your mouth and know the things that you share with people. That's one. Secondly, very dark man, I don't know if whatever you have said there, if the voice not, if it's not true enough, then <clears throat> it is well with you. You have been there before, so there's nothing to be afraid of. You definitely face it and Let's see how this whole thing plays out. And um, let's be guided. That's all I have for this video, please. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe because I'm bringing you more premium content. Guys, this channel has a vision. This is not the end of this channel. Celebrity juice and trend is something that has just for a time. Okay? So please subscribe, subscribe, and follow, like, share, and comment on these videos. And whenever you see me post them. Thank you for watching and staying true to this end. I love you. Bye. That were there to support me when I needed friends around me. They just have a little bit party. Let's let's show love. Let's spend the money. money of the you don't have to call crowd. Mm -hmm. I don't need your money. I have to just you know make everybody happy, chill. So it's my fucking birthday. So let's turn up, guys.